Well, good day to you, friends. This is Mark from Demo Missions, demonstrating the love of God by providing digital resources free of charge in order that you can demonstrate God's love to others. Well, today I want to talk about something completely new. Uh, part of our desire to provide content is also to provide content of our own. And I want to introduce to you today what I call the Demo Memo. This is a, a collection of thoughts or little revelations or truths that I believe uh, God has shown me uh, during my quiet times with the Lord, which I believe um, may bless you. So I just want to share that with you. So we're going to do a, a series of these Demo Memos, and today will be the first one. And I'm just looking at the topic of faith. How many of you have ever had a friend or somebody say to you, man, I wish I had faith like you, or I wish I could believe the way you do? Well, very often these are friends, family members, or people who know that you're a Christian, and they are desperately wanting to believe in God, but are struggling to do so. I'm sure you've all had uh, that experience. But you know, here's something. In the Bible, it tells us in Psalm 19, and some of these Psalms are 3,000 plus years old, but it tells us in Psalm 19 that the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech and so on. In other words, it tells us that uh, nature itself is testifying that God is real, that God is the creator. In fact, if we move to the New Testament in the book of Romans, in Romans chapter 1 and verse 20, it actually kind of admonishes us and says, you know, we are without excuse because God's power, his invisible qualities, his nature can all be seen in our natural surroundings, in nature itself. So we are without excuse. <clears throat> I had that revelation over 40 years ago, and I just want to briefly share that with you, just to give us some food for thought. Over 40 years ago, as a young self-professed atheist, I had no knowledge of God and didn't believe that God existed. I was a young midshipman or a cadet officer in the British merchant navy or if it was america it would be the merchant marine and i remember standing on the bridge one night on my watch on this massive super tanker as we were navigating our way through the islands in indonesia on our way to australia from singapore and i was stood on the bridge of this ship I was actually stood on what we call the bridge wing. That's outside of the wheelhouse. The bridge wings overhang the deck and even overhang the ocean. And it enables the watchman to stand right out and look out to sea and um, looking out for uh, other ships, for their lights or for buoys uh, or for obstacles. Sometimes you come across uh, gas rigs with their flames going and you can see them for miles but for any potential hazards so this bridge was over 300 feet across and I'm stood out there and that night I experienced a spectacle that just makes my hair stand on end and is still vividly etched in my memory to this very day I, I can relive it now in my mind as though it were yesterday as I stood on this bridge looking out to see the moon was rising above the horizon and therefore it was gigantic 
and it was so bright. It looked like a gigantic silver dinner plate. And the moonlight was so intense that I am, I'm not joking, you could literally read by the moonlight and I did just that. You could read, it was so bright and intense, but at the same time, every star in the night sky was visible and every star was twinkling as though they were competing for prominence saying, here am I, look at me. It was just absolutely incredible. And at the same time in the moonlight, as I looked out onto the surface of sea and there wasn't a ripple, the sea just seemed to breathe like a giant skin and then just gently fall. But in that bright moonlight, I was seeing flying fish, dozens of them just skimming the surface of the water in the moonlight and to cap it all on either side of our huge vessel there were volcanoes either side just rising up thousands of feet out of the ocean on either side of the ship completely clothed robed as it were in rainforest i can tell you that night i was totally without excuse for the first time, I came to the conclusion, to the realization, the revelation that there is no way on earth that all this just happened by chance. That there must be some higher intelligence, some greater force that created and designed this absolutely gorgeous spectacle and this beautiful planet that we call Earth. And on top of that, mankind. For the first time, I considered God, I believe. I was so overwhelmed, I've always been something of a budding songwriter, that I tried to capture what I was seeing, what I was feeling that night in sort of a prose. And I still have that to this very day, just trying to describe in sort of really poetic terms what I was witnessing for posterity but I was just completely overwhelmed and I was reeling and I was left feeling so small in the universe and saying there must be more to life than this why am I here there must be a reason there must be a purpose there's got to be more uh, to life than this and there's got to be a force much higher than what I've ever experienced so that set me that night on my quest for God. Let me, let me ask you a question. We all have a cell phone, right? Especially even today, even tiny tots have cell phones. If I were to take your cell phone right now and strip it down completely into all its individual component parts, and I then took those parts and I popped them into a bag and just gave that bag a good shake, and then we left that bag there for a long period of time. How many of you can truly say that you believe that over time, those bits and pieces would somehow reconnect themselves so that when we open the bag, we would have a brand new state of the art cell phone or mobile phone. How many of you truly can believe that? Well, I would guess that none of us can. So why do we believe that somehow God's creation, this incredible planet Earth that we call home, with all its intricacies and its ecosystems and its diversity of life and flora and fauna and rocks and, oh man, I mean, it's just mind-blowing. Everything has to be so interconnected and interdependent. Everything has to be perfect, the angle of the earth, the distance from the sun, the amount of water, the composition of our atmosphere. How many of us can, you know, truly believe that like that cell phone in a bag, all these parts just somehow mysteriously came together and boom, we have this most incredible, sophisticated ecosystem called earth. You know what? It takes faith to believe as the Bible tells us in Genesis, that God created the heavens and the earth and that he spoke everything into being. 
but how much more faith does it take to believe that this just happened by chance? Think about that. Well, Romans 1 verse 20 reminds us we are without excuse because nature itself testifies to God's existence, to his power, his invisible qualities. 